Hi guys, welcome to episode four. And our next topic is, how do we blend new relationships with your ex and your children? Ooh. Oh, Stick it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a controversial yeah, one. It's controversial. Yeah. Oh, God. Who I wants to start? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone it had out. a good dating experience since they've been single? No. <laughs> no. I haven't been I single for 15 Who's years. Who's dating in lockdown? Uh, You'd be surprised. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Judy <laughs> Lovers. That's my freaking rules, okay? <laughs> oh, goodness. I won't tell I mean, Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Open air. <laughs> So what was the what is the question? Ex uh, build relationship with your ex and so how you would navigate a new relationship with mm. your ex and your children. So that includes introducing them. How mm. would you do that? How would you manage the both? Mm. You keeping them separate? Yes. Yeah, first tough. and foremost, my ex has got nothing to do with any new relationship I'd go into. I wouldn't need his opinion. Wouldn't ask for his opinion. <laughs> Amen. He zero. He has zero control over that. Mm. Um, it would all be down to me and what I feel is right. Mm. Like, I don't feel like you can put a time limit and I don't feel like you can put l- rules on it. You can put boundaries down and say, I'm not going to introduce you to my child until I feel like we have some foundations mm-hmm. and I know that this is serious, a real long-term relationship and it's going somewhere. But how long that takes is a completely different story altogether. It could be six mm. months, could mm. be a year, could be two. Mm. Mm. It all depends on who, who you're dating. And yeah. do they have children as well? Mm. Because then ultimately you're blending yeah. your children and his children. And as soon as you do that, that changes the whole dynamics of mm. your relationship, yeah. mm. ultimately. Has anyone been in a family where they've had stepfather, stepmother? That's also a dynamic too. Mm-hmm. So um, my children's father, he had other children with two different women. And I was with him, and we had our own children. But I think one of the moms she found it difficult. But it's like, well, we've got two whole children. Like I'm with him, so you don't really have a say. And she had her own relationship, and I feel like sometimes women they, okay, because then now my children's father actually he's actually the same. So I feel like he would feel he has say, but he absolutely would have no say. Okay. Whereas I would. I don't care what he does. I do, I, like, I would want him to make sure he knows. I wouldn't want him to just be introducing anybody, but then I don't really have any say about what he does unless I felt like they were unsafe. Mm. Um, well, I think he would make it difficult. Yes, mm. that's, that's ultimately Mentoring. how I see it too. <laughs> mm. um, but that's all down to how much control you give them over that situation. But it's a headache. It will be a headache. Like, it is, but then I feel like you have to deal with it, and the other person that you're with would then have to deal with it. Mm. And it makes it... it, It's it's not easy, because Mm. me being... When I was on the other side of it, when it was him and his children, it it was a headache. Mm -hmm. It caused problems Mm -hmm. in the relationship. Yeah. Um, So it has a big effect. So whether you give it power or not, it's going to affect you and this other person, Mm -hmm. share children, Mm -hmm. and the other person that you're with are going to... It's going to become affected by. I think you know, the children as well need to be taken into account because you can't keep introducing them to different yeah. people. Oh, yeah. 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 No. No. You know, Definitely things like not. that. And I think oh. it should be for both parties, you know, not just the mum, mm. also the dad. Because I do feel like, obviously, I've broken up with my husband for four years. Um, I didn't move on. But I do feel like men think it's just like they've got that kind of like ownership. okay yeah. oh, no no okay. the oh. okay the green light to mm. be seen other people okay. and introduce yeah. them casually mm. to their to their like you know children but whereas with women it's like it's they have to be yeah, yeah they have to be more careful mm-hmm. or like because then because naturally women are more emotional and we're more attached you know to but, to people i think that men are kind of like they don't have that emotional connection with people as such mm. if you know but what then i mean do you think it's because for a lot of people, the children are in a household with you. So when mm. you're dating the mat, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like so they then would it, come it over. changes yeah. the dynamic. Yeah. So That's with a dad, maybe like for a lot of people, he can maybe just be a weekend dad. Like in my experience, he's just a weekend dad. So it's not, it doesn't change things a lot. He can yeah. have his relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. outside yeah. of that. Yeah, it's absolutely. only yeah, that could where, be a reason. Yeah, yeah it's two different lives where. Yeah. Yeah. 
with me, me and my cho- me and my child, we co- my children, we, we come as a whole package. package. Yeah. Yeah. So it changes yeah. mm-hmm. and that's a lot. The, that's what I'm saying. So for me, the focus isn't on how and when am I going to introduce a new man to my child. The focus would actually be, I just want to enjoy this new relationship I have with this man mm. and set some foundations first, because I know ultimately the dynamics will change mm. once you do introduce them to your child. But do you find it harder <clears throat> to even date or get to know someone because you've got a child because I find, I'm finding it really difficult you know since being a single mum because I think not of the now I think 10 steps ahead and thinking is this you know I feel like enjoyment now because I've got a child is just not good enough you know 10 steps ahead can I see a future and if I see any red flags and all this stuff you know is it too soon when and it's just easier if I just don't date don't, don't date, date. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely going no through drama. that now, but mm. I don't think it's got anything to do with having a child because I don't see that as an obstacle for me to move on and find someone new. For me, it's my work that mm. gets in the way mm. and everything that all the other stuff that I do because that's what I'm really passionate about and that takes up all of my time. So I don't have time yeah. to date. I don't have time to go Same. on new dating apps. And, and I don't have the patience either to try Same. and get right. to know someone new. And and then it's like, how, like I like to have a vibe with someone. So yeah. how do you... Like, how do you build a vibe yeah. on the right yeah. 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 it's just and it's just like so forced nowadays you know like hey, you're on a dating app everyone's got too many options and you know mm, you want to find like, men's yeah, got too true. many options everyone's women's true. got too many options yeah. it's not one of those ones like back in the day where you know you just focused on each other mm. and you know there's only so many times you could talk about what Netflix <laughs> you know, what you know how was your day and you're like come on let's talk about something yeah, more deep you know, deep isn't it yeah. but is that the guys that you're going for because honestly yeah. <laughs> if you're going for a certain guy that you know that possibly could have a future relationship with you should be you know talking about yeah. deeper stuff if it's goals, had, yeah, yeah, level like future then goals it's just yeah. like you know forget Definitely about it I think like what, I've, yeah. what I've had to accept myself is that sometimes especially since leaving an abusive relationship that sometimes even if you do date someone and you really do have feelings for this person, if you're not compatible, it's not going to work. Yeah. Mm. And what I've had to educate myself on what a healthy relationship is and what is a toxic relationship and what is an abusive relationship is if you chase something with someone that's not Mm. compatible and they don't meet your needs, because remember, your needs are a priority and they should be. Oh, Mm. absolutely. Um, Those situations become toxic and sometimes it's best to say, you know what? I'm not chasing you. No. Yeah. Exactly. I care about you, but this isn't for me. Mm. Yeah. You don't meet my needs. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. And but, it, you but know, it is what it is. But right. you know, you and I have been through domestic violence and domestic mm. abuse in the past, and you know, like it's so difficult, um, you know, dating and getting to know someone because you, you have to be vulnerable. Mm. And you know, are you willing to let yourself vulnerable and talk about your past? When is it the right time? And mm. then, and then you've got a child involved. It's li- it's it's a lot, and you know, I know you say it's maybe it's the right the right person. Yeah. But you know, when do you find the right person, <laughs> or how yeah, do you yeah. know when? When do you go beneath the surface? You know, and it's just. It's just, it's always catch 22. And I think it's much harder when you do have children because there's a lot more to think about. Oh, I think I without children, it's like, okay, I can take this risk. I can't free. take that risk. Yeah. And I think especially because, like, I there were, I had a relationship before and then I broke up with my children. So I don't want to just keep on having, like, relationship, you know, yeah. Different, yeah. many different yeah. relationships. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and then yeah. introducing yeah. different people to my, like, no, I no. wouldn't be, um, I can't, like, if, it needs to be forever. Yeah, definitely. And, but obviously, if it's not unhealthy, then but then I don't want to take that risk. Like like you said, if I see, yeah. I think that I think's red flag, and sometimes maybe it's not, and that's when it becomes confusing. When you've been in a uh, very unhealthy relationship, it's like, is is this like oh, how do I explain it? Like, am I responding to like, am I actually seeing this, or is this like a trigger? Yeah. Do you? Know mm. what I mean, is it is it a me mm. thing, or mm. is this? You. Really happening. Is this yeah. really happening? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And I think that's what becomes confusing. Yeah. And especially when you've got children, I'm not, like, I'm not willing to but have that around my children. Saying, I'm not playing that. I'm not. If you see in the red flags and whether it's happening or not, it's real to you. Yeah. And just for the sake of your peace of mind, yeah. I would just follow that. The, if, your gut instinct. Your gut instinct, gut instinct yeah. yeah. Especially when you have been through whatever we want to call them toxic, unhealthy, abusive relationships. Oh. 
your your gut picks up on that because it's responding to a trauma. Mm. So that there, there, it's a red flag for you because you've been through it already. And I have been guilty of ignoring certain red flags since being single mm. when I should have just said, nah, mate. Nip yeah. it in the buds, yeah. Nah, mm. mate. Right. But I didn't know what healthy relationship was. Mm. Neither, neither now, and now I'm educating myself daily mm -hmm. on what is good and what is a good relationship and what isn't. Mm -hmm. So I'm learning on my feet too. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like until I, I get this on lock a little bit, this what a healthy relationship is for me yeah. and how someone else can meet my needs, I don't feel like I can date. Yeah. yeah. Or even introduce your children to, yeah. Yeah. to that situation. Because you know what? Your, your daughters or your sons are going to see that Oh, mum's coming with man after this man. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The thing is, as well, it's like, you, what you, what, for me, personally, mm. my daughter is solely reliant on me mm. for everything, finances, for her emotional well-being, mm. for her physical well-being. How can I look after my child if my mental health isn't in the right place because I'm in a toxic relationship yeah. with yeah. a man? Absolutely. And I have had to learn that for myself. Mm -hmm. If I'm t chasing something that isn't healthy and it's not for me, ultimately my child is going to suffer as a result because mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't parent to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But did you realise that when you left or did you realise that while you were in it? Like in, 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 in a, like an abusive relationship? I, this is something that I'm learning now no, about yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because like, I, I realised that. <laughs> that I was, you know, just absent mm -hmm. from being a mum and, you know, just going through hell men emotionally. But I only realised that once I come out of the relationship after the marriage and just realised that, oh, I am a better person. Yeah. I yeah. am a better mum. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm functioning. And then it's just like, the, it's, it's also the fear and the trauma of meeting someone new and maybe Having it's like a risk. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a big like risk. it's always yeah. a big risk, you know, putting mm. yourself in that position again. And you know, you hear about narcissism. Mm. You know, it's on the rise. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> everyone's got it's a whole pandemic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. you know, like, I think um, about what it would be like to have another woman in my daughter's life, because inevitably her dad will move on. Yeah. He'll find someone new, and she'll he'll have a whole new family and mm. they will become her new family mm. too. Are you and prepared for that? I don't need to be because mm. it's not going to change nothing between me and her. Mm. Mm. I've already built foundations with my child. I have a strong bond with her. I trust that bond. Yeah. But that so takes, it doesn't matter. Uh, that takes strong mindset. Yeah, that because she might come back with questions. Um, she might be questioning behavior, herself her and behavior stuff like that. Change. So She should though. She should. She, if, if your child comes back and asks questions, that's healthy and that's yeah. absolutely okay. And then it's down to you as a parent mm -hmm. how you answer those to questions guide to guide her mm -hmm. and how you then navigate as a mother to make sure that she feels happy or he feels happy and safe in their new environment mm. with their father and yeah. their new partner, and maybe they've got children too. And I think mm. children sometimes have to accept that reality. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it is yeah, what it is, is you know, it's yeah. Yeah. blended family. Absolutely, like a few weeks ago, I was in a, in a Uber with <clears throat> uh, Bella and my friend's daughter, and Bella said something, they're making a joke, and Bella said something like, oh, I'm gonna ask my daddy to give me more brothers and sisters because I know mummy won't give me any more. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't know. <laughs> and then it was funny because actually after that whole weekend, I had um, my friend's daughter. I said to Bella, I was like, so do you want a sibling now? Do you want me yeah. to give you a brother or sister? She was like, no, no, I'm going to ask daddy for one. <laughs> <laughs> she realised that she has to share me yeah. with yeah. another child yeah. and I'm She's the smart. only parent oh. around. And I think that like, she had to have that experience to have another to have to share my attention yeah. as a parent mm. with another child to realise the reality of what it would be like to have another sibling. Mm. But it's inevitable. It's going to yeah. happen. It yeah. It's going to um, happen. This scares me only because, like, I've been fortunate enough to be with my partner since what the age of sixteen. Mm. He's the only person I've ever been with, mm. and I'm now thirty-one with three yeah. kids with him. So the thought of Oh, God, it, just, it makes me feel sick because yeah. it's like, what do I do? That's the only thing I know is mm. him and, like, our structure and our foundation and routine and things like that. I don't know what I would do if yeah. I was put in that position and I have to see him with someone else. 
I would probably be that girl. Do you know what I mean? The one scratching up cars with the keys and things like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, won't be. no I, I probably won't. Be. But I'm just saying, it's like thinking about it now. If I had to put myself in that situation, I wouldn't know how to control myself. Mm. I wouldn't know how to feel emotion. And that, it just scares me. I wouldn't know how I would be around the kids or how I would feel them being with another woman's mm. household. I just don't know. Mm. It just... What about I the think, kids being in New York yeah. with you? With someone else? No, with you. So his... Your, part, your partner's, partner's children. Yeah, with <clears throat> your child. You. So the, yeah. the flip side of it. God. <laughs> it's hard to do. It's, 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 it's it's, I don't know, there's too much emotion in this. And I I, think... I kinda, I've kind of been in a similar yeah. boat, to kind of, because I was with my partner for 16 years. Okay. I mean, since I was 16, um, married, whatever, now I can't even, I've lost count, 11 years. Yeah. But we broke up for four years. I never moved on, but he did. And I never knew till a bit later on, because he was still in the picture. Yeah. So I didn't really... I thought, like, I didn't want to get back with him, but I, at the same time, I kind of maybe subconsciously didn't want to let go of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. we, you know, didn't get a divorce. We didn't, we just kind of separated, but we're still in each other's life. Mm. Now, I came to a point where I, I found out, and he never actually consulted me, that he was seeing someone else, and the kids did meet them. Whoa. But it was Whoa. just casual in the car. Okay. And I just thought, okay, maybe it's not official, but I just feel like... You know, men, I don't know, they think they can do that or what, I don't know How what do it you, is. But why do you think they can't? Feel, like, I mean, why do you feel that he shouldn't be able to? No, I think, I probably now thinking back, maybe it wasn't serious mm. because I think it, if it was serious, obviously we wouldn't be together now. Yeah. <laughs> but also I think maybe he would have proper sat, sat me down and said, look, like, I'm going to move in with this person and the kids are going to yeah. be involved in mm. this relationship. And obviously, that would probably be the right way mm. to do it. It's you know? respectful, it's respectful right? and it's, yeah. it's also yeah. makes the kids aware of what they are, you know, going to be involved Expecting, in and yeah. expect exactly. Mm. So, did he formally um, in introduce them, or it was no, no, just no, like they just thought, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 get there, babe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I just think you shouldn't be scared because you know what? With kids, I think we are much stronger than we think we are. Mm. Like, like you said, I thought I would never be able to handle myself yeah. on my own. Like, with, at the time, obviously, I had two kids and I was trying to do it on my own. I've never been so strong. Like, I was so strong. Mm. And I just got on with life, okay. done everything. Yeah. Mm. And, you know, I didn't scratch up his car. I didn't even care it's what he was doing. I honestly did not care because yeah. in my mindset was just completely focused on my children and work. Yeah. That was it. Mm. Whereas I think, you know, sometimes... And, like, you, you guys are sitting here and you're saying, you know... You know, I don't think I could do yeah. this. And, you know, you're <laughs> and scared and the you risk. And, the, and obviously that's because we've got our priorities in place. Exactly. Yeah. Then, you know. But, yeah, I do um, feel, though, that if I did get into something serious, I would consult my children's father. I would let him know right. that, like, I'm in a, a serious relationship and, you know, this person's going to be involved in my life and my children's life. But... Until that point, he's got no business in <laughs> my business at all. And I've got no business in his. Would I you, don't care. Would you let them meet each other? Who? The two no. kids. Oh, the two men. The two men. Can the you imagine? Oh, I, wouldn't I feel see, like I, if they wanted to... See, I wouldn't, I don't tell, care. I wouldn't tell my daughter's dad anything because yeah. I'm not... In, I'm not, You're not we, that We don't involved. talk. Yeah. Right. You're not that involved. Like, we have no, our contact is... Basic. I'm coming to pick Bella up at 6.30. I will drop her home 4.30. That's it. Mm. There is no... I'm not involved in his life, nor do I want to be. He's not involved in mine. He has no right to be. Mm. So, for them to me, be, me to be like... Imagine I'll going out someone, together. Oh, why let's would I go do that? top like, golf. Or like, no, because he's got, no, <laughs> like, he's got no say in my life going forward. So, no. it, it would be like me going to a stranger on the street and being like, oh, do you want to meet my new boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> but then for Bella, because he's Bella's dad, don't you think it's important? So, wouldn't you want to know if... He, no. He, no. No, don't care. Yeah. Because my relationship with her is strong. Yeah. The bond I have with her can never be broken. But just in terms of, like, who's around your... Cha like, or you just trust... You obviously I trust, trust his I judgment, trust yeah. Bella. I do trust his judgment. I would... I would like to trust his judgment as a father mm. around his daughter. I've, I've got a question. Right? So, if he says, I want to take her away with this new partner, then would you want to meet her? 
taken her away no, I just I want to know yeah. interest in knowing his wow. life I just don't They're different, care. a whole different country <laughs> no well that's a different story altogether so whether just... I don't think I would allow my child to go abroad with without me like that's a different story altogether but mm. um if it was a case where he's like yeah I've got a new girlfriend and I've been with her this long I'm going to introduce Bella to her my relationship is so strong with her that nothing can break that. Nothing can shake my bond. That we did have a period where he wasn't in her life and then came back in her life and is having her every other weekend. And I did put boundaries down. I said to him, I said, because I knew he had a new girlfriend at the time. Mm. And I said, until you reconnect with your child, because they did have a relationship. So yeah. I knew that all they needed mm. to do was just, she just needed to get used to this new routine of seeing her dad every other weekend. Mm -hmm. I said, until I feel comfortable enough with this situation, you can't introduce no one to her. Mm. But that had nothing to do with me being jealous that he was in another right. relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was important knowing that my child had witnessed abuse between her yeah. father and her mother, mm. then didn't spend all of this time with her father. It was important for her to emotionally connect with him. Mm. Now, mm. Like the, yeah. it, 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 he doesn't need to consult and, me, really, because legally he doesn't have to. And I think that's and what... And legally I don't have to consult mm, him either. And I think that's what it is. I think a lot of um, parents make it about them and their feelings rather mm. than the child. I yeah. think sometimes mm. children, they don't... It, but you know, he might meet another woman and she might be lovely. Mm. That is a... Well, yeah. <laughs> she might be lovely. Do you know what I yeah. mean? She might be, she might be yeah. so caring Possible. and kind. She might have her own children. She might be a great yeah, mum. Yeah, exactly. She might not be, but what am I going to do? Eat myself? I can't consume those my mind with those thoughts and those fears. Mm. Mm. I think I acceptance is such a like yeah. it's a powerful thing. It takes yeah. a lot of skill, you know, and um, mindset practice yeah. to accept, yeah. Yeah. you know, things. And I mean, it's so good. But I mean, what you say it is easier said than done. Absolutely, mm. you know what I mean. Like you obviously put it in practice. I, I personally. I, I don't have any contact with um, Zaid's dad, and Zaid's dad has been absent, so I can't yeah. really picture, you know, when eventually they do have contact, and you know, when they have uh, every other weekend. I can't picture how I would handle, you know, another woman being stepmummy oh. to Zaid when I've been doing it yeah. <laughs> for his whole life. Live it is. <laughs> <You're living laughs> yeah. 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 But I think yeah. children can have more, like you said, it could be a positive, it could be a positive thing. And I think sometimes children Maybe just have hope more. Maybe hope is a positive yeah. thing. Yeah, the thing <laughs> is, the other way is the flip side. I'm not trying to make her like, oh my God, I've got all, the, all of this together. Because there was a situation um, a few months back in February, I think it was, where I thought, that he had introduced his new girlfriend to Bella whilst I had that boundary in place mm. and I stopped contact. Yeah. Because my boundary was you do not introduce this person to her until I feel comfortable that Bella is confident and safe in this new routine. Mm. Mm. And then after a while, when I think about it, I, I can't stop their contact mm. just because of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I can't do that no matter how I feel about what happened in my relationship with yeah. him, that's, it just didn't seem right. It didn't sit right mm. with me. And it turned out that wasn't the case at all. Mm. But I, I still followed my gut instinct yeah. and I cut contact. And then when I had to consult with myself and I thought, are you really doing the right thing here? Yeah. And then I realised I'm, I'm not doing the right thing by my child. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and so yeah. then contact resumed again. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can I just play devil's advocate? So what if your child came back from... Um, being out with them or staying over at their house with the mother um, and she came back with a bruise and she said it was the mum, the stepmom or the girlfriend. Wow. I'm sorry, end immediately. but... Immediately, contact would end immediately. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can say what I would do on camera. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> the mum bruised my child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crime watch is where you'll see me, not positive. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. I don't think I can even answer lot, that one. Lot, yeah. no. No. I would just end yeah. the contact immediately. I, like, to me, the same way I ended the contact when I thought he had introduced his girlfriend to Bella, I'd end the contact, done, boom. This time, you have to take me to court. Yeah, but would you not take any procedures? I mean, someone touched your child. Oh, 999. I know it sounds, it <laughs> yeah, sounds not even 999, yeah. nine, nine, nine. I'm no. there yeah. Yeah. Oh. with the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> you touched yeah. my child. Oh, no, yeah. I know yeah. what you mean. 
because the, there was a story that I read about um, how the stepmother, the girl had beautiful Afro curly locks and the stepmother cut her hair short. Wow. And she sent her home. And I just, that infuriated me because mm. I just thought she had no right to even go there, to even touch mm. her in that particular way. Mm. There was no communication. Should you ask me, can I take her to the hairdressers to trim her? No, but thank you for asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's, it, there's a limit, as, an exact limit. I think that stepmother that's introduced, has, that, has, that communication has to be there in solid, in contract, in writing, everything. <laughs> what if it was a step... <laughs> and the, yeah. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like there needs to be, like, normal to... You know, there's a difference between a mum and a difference yeah. between a stepmother. It doesn't... They don't need to, you know, take on the mother role, which I, I know yeah. that some stepmothers do, you know, mm. like, they have to be so hands-on. No, I'd love it. Yeah. <laughs> I would love it. I be hands-on, like, please. Yeah. Take yeah. some of my load off of me, like, please. There's so many, like, th these are horror stories. Like, yeah. what if the stepmom is lovely? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, like, you know what it is? Like, because you hear a it's lot... the Disney movies. Yeah. I blame them. <laughs> no, you hear a lot, you know, like, a lot of, you know, stepmothers and fathers, children don't build relationship with their fathers and they have more relationship with their stepmothers than with their own actual biological father. I hear that a lot as well. But what isn't the point of, you know, a father and a child relationship is make sure that them two have got a bond, mm. you know, and not focus more on the stepmother, you know. I feel yeah, like, I do get that. you know, like there's a... I, I find I hear a lot that you know the stepmama is taking the whole role. Yeah, because here's what we're doing is uh, again we're going back to the thing about we're vilifying the woman. Why are we why are we yeah. talking about all these horror stories about stepmums? Mm. Yeah. Why are yeah. we not focusing? Which was my yeah, boundary to begin yeah, with yeah, with yeah, yeah, dad. Yeah. The focus is make sure you reconnect and mm. have a bond with your yes. child like exactly. you did when yes. you lived yeah. with her exactly. before you introduce her to another woman. Mm. Mm. Because I'm not I'm not about to vilify another woman that I don't even know yeah, yeah, without yeah. having reason to. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, I feel like men, I feel they just, I don't want to say men, you know, fathers, it's easy when they have find another woman, it's easy for them to push, you know, the re their responsibility on the new woman. And I feel like they're expected to when they are around their pick house the mm. to pick up the slack mm. and do take the mother role yeah. mother that's their role. relationship though you cannot consume yourself as someone yeah. else's relationship mm. like but then it's, on the flip side there's other stepmothers that just don't give two craps yeah, yeah. and they will and take just a happily step just back. say oh yeah 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 mm. let the kids stay and then they just don't have any contact with them or they're just not mm. bothered they'll just do it because they're with they're, you know, the, the husband yeah. or the dad, mm. just to say that they've done it, but really and truly, they well, don't I think, care. I for don't the know children. how I would feel. See if that if that was the case, where the stepmom is just functioning, just the basic functions because that's what she's supposed to do. Mm. I think that would hurt me more than right. anything. Yeah. Because my child, yeah, she's <laughs> the best thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. are you telling me who does not love my child? Yeah. The sun shines out of her backside. Like, like, and I think that everyone loves her the yeah. way that I do. So that instance would probably hurt me more than anything. Yeah, mm. but, I no, I, but my point is, you know, the father should make sure that their bond, yes. the child, Absolutely. you know, like, Absolutely. you know, instead of just pushing, yeah. you know, yeah. a, a stepmother could be really good with the child, but I feel like it's so important that the father has a good connection and spending yep. time it's with his their child. It's his responsibility. Yeah. It's his child. Yeah. It's his yeah. child. Yeah. It's his child. Absolutely. Yeah, but Absolutely. What if, say, for example, he's got a relationship with another woman and decides to completely neglect the children? Oh. Which bye is... Bye-bye. Yeah, which <laughs> you know, is... Like, I happens. think it does, yeah. Happens. Which is... And I think that's what... Maybe you were saying you realised that really that shouldn't be the case. Because imagine if he said, all right then, mm. all right, fine. You don't want me to see her, fine, bye-bye. I'll just go live my life. And mm. I think that's a really good point that you realise that and what you're saying, not to lose that bond. Mm. Yeah. Because it could easily be done. Mm. Sorry, but I don't think it should be easily done. No, but me, with if men, I got a uh, men are slightly Yeah, and I think selfish. that's a problem. Yeah. That is yeah, a, yeah. That's a big problem. Like, my children, like, th that's... <laughs> they don't belong to me. But like, <laughs> you, like, how could you just? No, I don't. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. 
There's some women that do that, actually. Yeah. There's some women that do that. I couldn't. So if they find another relationship, they would like, leave bye, their bye, children yeah. onto mm-hmm. their partners. Yeah. I've heard of that as well. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we've said a lot in this episode. <laughs> yeah. I think it was very balanced. Yeah. Just in terms of um, balancing how we would um, develop new relationships, whether that be through the mother or the stepfather. So, um, yeah, thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. (laughs) Mother is a gifting brand that have teamed up with us for your chance to win a pair of Mother Slides, perfect for your feet, always on the go. For your chance to win, please follow the instructions down below.